Hello, my kindergarten friends. I hope everyone is doing really well. I'm going to just unplug my headphones. I'll be right back. Sometimes boys and girls, I use my headphones to help me hear on the computer. Some of you I'm sure have headphones at, at home that maybe go over your ears. Um, this set of headphones kind of tuck into my ear a little bit. But what's really important to know boys and girls is you never wanna play your headphones too loud because that will hurt your ears. So if you do use headphones like I was using, or if you have a pair that goes over your head, over your ears, just remember to keep that volume at a nice low sound so that it doesn't hurt your ears. Okay, so today, boys and girls, we are going to um, do some activities that involve mouse control. That means either your trackpad on your laptops or your actual mouse, if you're using one. Um, is going to play a big role in our lesson today. So let me share my screen. So you guys are going to start by going into a um, computer class, your teacher's computer class. So I'm gonna pretend I'm in Ms. Klukas' class, but you would go into your teacher's class. You pop the classwork button open up here at the top and over on the left, you will see it says all topics. And you look for the little computer icon right there and you click on today's assignment. Today's assignment, boys and girls, is it's, we'll say March 1 to March 5, and it says trace numbers and symmetry. So here is our title slide. Here's your video. This is what you click on to watch me talking to you. Your second slide, boys and girls, is your I can. So we're going to start with our keyboard warm up. We're getting both of our pointy fingers ready on left hand and right hand. We're looking down at our keyboard. Anything that's on the left, that would be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, seven letters. You're gonna be using lefty. When you see H come out, you switch to righty for H, I, J, K, and L. J, K, and L, boys and girls, are all together on what we call the home row. If you look at your keyboard, the row that's in the middle, it starts with an A and goes all the way across the middle, that's called your home row. So you're gonna work your way all the way to L today. See what that zoo animal is for L. When you're done tapping out L, you stop. Then you're going to trace some numbers using either your mouse or your mouse trackpad. And you're also going to type using a text box today, your favorite number. And then you're going to learn a little bit about this word right here, boys and girls, that says symmetry. And I want you to think of symmetry as two-sided, and it looks the same on the left as it does on the right, okay? So slide number three is your keyboard zoo. Again, you're going to start and go all the way to the letter L. When you are finished with L and you come back to the slides, don't forget to click and drag your check mark down on your keyboard zoo so that I know you've completed it. Your link, remember a link turns to a hand, is going to be right here. You click the keyboard zoo, you see the blue letters, notice my arrow turns to a hand. That's gonna link me into the keyboard zoo game. We'll just quickly pop in there. It's loading up for me. I'm gonna press play, I'm going to press go, and you can do letter sounds today. We've been working a lot with letter names. We're gonna shift gears a little bit and start listening to the sounds for a little bit. So I press that, I get my hands ready. I only need lefty for my A, and I tap it all the way through. It's gonna show me my anteater. Then it's gonna send out the B, and I just keep going. Look at this keyboard, boys and girls. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, all blue, all left. When you see H comes out, switch to your right hand for H. I is up here at the top, and then J, K, L is right on that middle home row. When L is done, you are done. You can simply come to the top, close your tab with the X. Don't forget to drag your orange check mark. You're all done with slide three. Slide number four, boys and girls, is called trace to the beat. Today, we're gonna to trace numbers 
we'll do this game again with letters, but for today it's numbers. You're gonna click on the game and then click the blue letter link to get there. So I just click the game. There's my letter link. It's gonna take me in. I'm gonna share my sound for this one. So I'm gonna press Trace play. to the beat. Numbers. Start. What do you want to trace? Capital so letters, asks, lowercase letters, Capital, numbers. Capital, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, or numbers. We're going with this bottom one, boys and girls, that says numbers. Rock, pop, classical, Why island. Theme? And this is kind of fun because the themes are musical themes. So there's rock music, pop music, classical music, and island music. I think I'm going to go with island music. Trace the letters following now the dotted lines. Start at the arrow zero, and go all the way to the end. The hand will show dot. you where to so start you if you get off track. Put your finger on your trackpad and hold it down and trace. Or put your finger on your mouse and hold it down and trace. Now, if you miss and like you hit and you go out of the circle, boys and girls, or if you let go of the mouse, it has you start all over again. So this is a little bit tricky. This is going to take a little bit of patience because you have to hold on to that mouse. So if you go outside the lines a little bit, like I just did, don't let that mouse go. Touch to the white. Zero. Then when you let it go, it will say the number zero, and then it will have you start. Now this is a fancy one because it has a little top on it. Then it goes, whoops, then it goes straight, oh gosh. Oh, I see, okay, that's a new song, Mrs. Sullivan. You have to drag it and then let it go on this one. So on the zero, don't let it go, but on the one, every time you have an arrow, you let go. Let one. Go. So that makes it a little tricky. So see this, it wants you to go from here all the way to here, and then let go of your mouse. So I'm gonna start here. Two. Yeah, that sounds a little bit in the background. That's your island music. So you start at the dot, you let go with the little triangle arrow, and then you set you up to the next part. There's one. There goes the music. Three. You can do a little dancing while you're tracing your numbers. Start at the dot. Three. Four. And you just keep going, boys and girls, until you hit nine. When you hit nine, you're all done. You close it out. Don't forget to drag your um, check mark. Let me fix that because it's hiding from the back of the branch to the front. Oh, it didn't go to the front. Hmm. Try that again. I gotta wiggle, wiggle some things around here, boys and girls. Hold on. This is supposed to be on the front. So let me see if I can get it to order and then ring to the front. There we go. There we go. All fixed. All righty. So you drag that over there. And I have one more thing for you, boys and girls, right here. It says, what is your favorite number? Type it in this box. So we did the numbers zero to nine. So all you do for this is you take your mouse or your trackpad and you click somewhere near these letters and a blue box will show up. That is what they call a text box, boys and girls. And then all you wanna do is type in your favorite number. Well, my favorite number is four. So I would put a four there. And if your favorite number is nine, you put a nine. Or if it's a zero, you put a zero. Put your favorite number in the box, okay? I'm gonna erase my number, but don't forget that. The last job for you today, boys and girls, is slide number five. This is your symmetry game. Remember, symmetry is like matching. The two sides need to look alike. And you're going to match the pictures and the shapes. There's also another um, game that you can play with patterns. The patterns are very challenging. If you're feeling extra smart and you're up for a challenge, after you do your pictures and your shapes, you can try patterns, but be careful because they are tricky. All right, so I'm gonna click here. There's my link. Here comes my game. There's my picture one, I'm gonna do that first. There's my shape one, I'm gonna do that one second. And then I can stop, or if I'm feeling extra smart, I can try patterns. So let's check out pictures. So here's my first picture. It says complete the symmetrical picture. I see a nice pretty flower. This looks like a pretty flower. 
it looks like it matches with the colors. I'm gonna click it. Don't forget to hit check. If it's right, I'll get a point on my scoreboard. If I make an oopsie, that doesn't match. Oops, it says that's not right. I only got one point instead of two. So that's a rocket ship. There we go, now I have two points. And you just keep going, boys and girls. There's about six or seven matches in each um, group, I think. So be careful on this one, boys and girls, because look, this is a monkey. And so is this, and that looks cute. But look at his arm. This arm is up, this arm is down. So I don't think it's that guy. I think it's this guy. So see, all I did to fix that is I just clicked on a different one and it changes for me. So just make sure if you were to fold that monkey in half, it would match up perfectly side to side. So I'm gonna press check and I just keep going. So just keep completing your matches, boys and girls. Um, and then you're gonna go to menu, shapes. Now, instead of pictures, we're matching the shape. So that looks like a triangle. This looks like a triangle. That looks good. So that line down the middle is your line of symmetry. Imagine that you could fold it. Now this line of symmetry is going this way instead. So you're folding it going this way instead of this way. So that looks like an arrow. So I'm gonna try this one. And again, if I try one and it doesn't look right, I just click on a different one and then give a check. Okay, and you just, again, complete five or six of these. And then boys and girls, if you feel up to it, I'm gonna show you the patterns, but you don't have to do this one. But remember when you're picking this, it has to look like this one on this side, like that. See how the two reds are at the bottom and then you've got two corner reds and then the purple kind of in the middle. But this is a little bit tricky because there's lots of different um, shapes and colors. So if you put one in and it doesn't look exactly right, hmm, that doesn't look quite right. You just try another. Okay, so um, boys and girls, when you finish, you probably will have about 20 of these complete um, if you do all three. If you just do the first two, you'll have about 14 of them complete. Okay, so work on that symmetry a little bit. Don't forget to drag this over because that's what, oh, there it goes again, boys and girls. Every time I move my arrow around, it's not behaving itself today. Let me fix that too. Bring to the front. There we go. Um, so just don't forget to move your arrows on all three of those slides, boys and girls, slide three, slide four, and slide five. But my big thing that I'm looking for is your text box. Type in your favorite number right there. And then I have slide number six, just to remind you how to turn it in. Boys and girls, watch this video yourself today. And if your grown up has been doing your turn in for you, maybe you can see if you can try it all by yourself this week because you've been doing practicing turning in for several weeks now with computer class. I would love to see if you could do it by yourself and show your grown up how much you've learned. So watch this video on how to turn in and then see if you can do it all by yourself. Okay, I'll look forward to seeing those assignments and seeing what your favorite number is. Have fun with those games and learning a little bit about symmetry and tracing those numbers carefully. Remember, don't get frustrated with that one. That one takes a little patience. All right, everyone, we'll see you soon.